now that we have fixed the layers and the order of the vertices along the layers, the only thing that remains is to place the vertices at their exact x coordinates and to draw the edges. Let's start with vertex positioning. The input is our layered graph with the assignment of the layers and the order and we want to find the x coordinates here. And the goal is the path should be close to straight, so we don't want to have too many bends here. And we want the vertices to be evenly spaced. For that problem we can find an exact solution with a quadratic program or we can apply again a heuristic approach. We will first show you the quadratic program. So let's say we have two vertices that are connected by an edge and that edge spans many layers so we have a bunch of dummy vertices in between here. Now the x coordinate of every dummy vertex according to this line should be as follows. If we want this line to be straight then this vertex vi should lie at the position vi plus some part of this distance. And the part of this distance is just what is the number of layers between these two divided by what is the total number of layers and that multiplied with the horizontal distance. This should be the target and there is where we want to place a dummy vertex and if we can do that for all of those then we have a straight line here. Now in general it will not be possible to do all of those straight line but we can optimize the deviation from the line. So the deviation of this edge from this line is we look at all the dummy vertices and we check how far away is it from its optimal position. Now the problem is if we just sum up these it could be this lies 10 to the right, this 10 to the left, then the sum of those will be a zero. But we have some deviation. And actually having many very close but slightly off from the line is not as bad as having one that's far away. So we will just add a square here. So if we look at this drawing here, then we look at the deviations here, we square each of them and then we sum it up, then we get the deviation from this line. And that's how we get a so-called quadratic program. Similar to the linear program, we have an objective function. And this is to minimize the sum of all deviations. And we have some constraints that for all vertices in the same layer, where w is to the right of v, we have that the difference between the x coordinates is at least some horizontal distance. And the reason this is called a quadratic program is because the objective function depends on some terms quadratic in the variables. In the linear program we only had linear in the variables. Here we have quadratic. So it's a quadratic program. The nice thing is that we can solve it optimally, but again, it's, it's very time expensive. It's even harder than linear programs. And the width we get from this can be exponential because we don't care about the width at all. We only care about the deviations. On the other hand, we can use a very simple iterative heuristic. Well, we compute some initial layout and then we apply three steps as long as we can make improvements. We first position the vertices, then we try to straighten the edges, so we move the dummy vertices around to make uh, the edges straight, and then we try to compactify the layout width, so we try to compress everything a little bit. And if we do that iteratively, then we can, for example, from this starting layout, go to something like this. We can see here that some of these edges are more straight than before or down here. It doesn't get much more compact but it was already compact in the beginning. Now we have the exact coordinates so the only thing that's left is to draw the edges. And basically we could leave them as they are, just remove all the dummy vertices and draw them with bands. Thing is, if you have too many bends, then this might look quite ugly, or if you have sharp bends, that might look quite ugly. So instead, we can just substitute the polylines with Bezier curves. So we take our drawing, 
we remove all the dummy vertices and then we draw a Bezier curve that has these bent points as control points. And we get a drawing like this. And this would be the output of our algorithm. And this is the whole Sugiyama framework. We first break the cycles, make the graph acyclic, then we find an assignment of the vertices to the layers. For this layer assignment we try to minimize the number of crossings. Then we try to position the vertices evenly on the layers to get as straight as edges as possible. And then we draw them as Bezier curves. So we've learned about a very flexible framework to draw directed graphs where we sequentially optimize various criteria. And we get many very interesting NP-hard problems from the modeling. And although they are NP-hard, we can still solve them quite well. Thank you for watching.